Hello everyone, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Today let us learn how to download a georeferenced high resolution satellite imagery using a third party GIS software. I received a mail from uh, one person whom I suppose is one of the developers of this GIS software. I went through the software, I felt it is quite useful in uh, some angles and uh, I will explain those in different videos. Today let us learn how to download a high resolution satellite image using uh, this GIS software. Let us open uh, Google Chrome to download the software. The name of the software you can type it as E-L-S-H-Y-A-E-L -E Smart GIS. This is the name of the software and you can go to their website direct it's a totally free software it's a small software it's not a big software it doesn't take much time to download or install it's only 11 MB software just download it using any of the location and your download has just begun this is downloaded in a zip file Once you have downloaded, just install it like any other software. There is absolutely no complication with that. Once you have installed, just open the software that you have just installed. This is the software. Let me just open it. This is the software that we have just installed. And uh, just uh, before we can download high resolution georeferenced satellite imagery, we need to go to Google Earth. Now let us open Google Earth. How to rectify an image from Google Earth has already been discussed in other videos in the same tutorial. But however, this is uh, by far the accurate and the easiest one because there is no manual intervention required. Everything is done by the software itself. But however, I wouldn't say that this uh, uh, method doesn't have any flaws of course it has some flaws which i will be discussing at the end of this tutorial but to commence this work you will have to carry out some settings in google earth let's open our uh, smart gis software and see the settings that we need to do in google earth now come back to the screen of uh, this uh, software and uh, you find a button called Google Earth. Just click on that button. You get uh, download from Google Earth button. Now we should click on show Google settings help. Click on that and you have a list of settings to be done. And these options like tools, options and uh, tools, options, navigation, etc, etc are available in Google Earth here in these menu options. You can go to Google Earth tools and go to options or you can go to view and find the options and the settings listed in the software. These are quite a simple settings that uh, uh, needs to be set up and you can do on your own. Once you have done the setup, you have to come back to Smart GIS software and click on Login Google. Once you have clicked on that, you, this message is displayed that Google Earth is connected. Now let us go to Google Earth and go to the location for which we want to download high resolution georeferenced image. Just click on uh, the search to the location where you want to go. Just navigate to the location and uh, zoom to the extent of your required resolution. If you feel this resolution is good enough, you can stop at that. I will go further because I am interested in very high resolution georeferenced image. So let me consider this level of zooming in, this level of uh, spatial resolution. Once I have selected the location which I want to download, I wouldn't say that 
you will be able to download only this image say even if your area of interest is much higher i am asking you only to concentrate on your spatial resolution that you need the outer portions of this particular image the extremities the aerial extents of your image can be defined and decided in later course once you have selected this let us keep this window here and come. now come back to our uh, smart gis uh, software once you are here make sure that you are logged in to google once you are logged in and your settings are done and your required resolution in the image is chosen just click on refresh coordinates once you click on refresh coordinates the coordinates are automatically loaded from your google earth that is the center point of your google earth screen is loaded over here once you have loaded that just click on import rectified image now it will ask where do you want to save the file let's uh, just uh, navigate to the location where we want to save the file and consider the default name as g1 we need to keep it like this because the successive images of your left right up down will be named 1 2 3 4 etc etc so let us consider the default name to be correct and click save once you have click save you can just wait and see that your rectified google earth image is displayed on your screen but also at the same time you can observe that your image is in grayscale it is not a colored image so what we need to do is go back to google earth and go to file save and save image go to the same location where you want to save let us remove all these titles just uncheck everything so that you do not have so those things do not change the resolution and click on save image and just replace the file that you have just created replace the file so click save it will ask whether you want to replace that existing file click yes now the image that you have saved is being replaced with the current image that is shown in google earth now let's go back to our software and bring this this side click on this one and do a right click just go on to reload layer and click on that now you can see that your image is georeferenced and it is color you can see here to verify that your uh, image is georeferenced it is georeferenced it is having latitude and longitude as you move over the image you can see these points changing so this image is georeferenced but the most interesting thing comes now now that you have selected this portion of the image your area of interest is not here your area of interest might be much much higher than the one that is displayed on your screen right now though how do we do that now let us uh, click up to get the portion that is above this image click up your latitude and longitude changed accordingly to make the next image at the same resolution as the center of your image now that you have done that click import rectified image option now it is asking for the name you save in the same location with the default name as g2 click save now what ideally should have happened 
is your G2 also must be a rectified image that has come above your present image. Let's click zoom to full extent or you want to pan it, you can pan it and see that the next image also has come and zoom to full extent you can see the next image has come and fit in exactly over this and that is a black and white image let's go back to google earth and this is the next portion let's do the same process again to make it colorful click on save image replace ge2 it will ask do you want to replace press yes and go back to your smart GIS and do a right click and click reload layer. Now your second image is also georeferenced color high resolution image. Now let us see we want to have the right side of this image. Click on the button right your latitude and longitude change so that this image portion center of that is the intersection of this latitude and longitude click on import rectified map let's keep the name as GE3 click save and your third image has come over here and let's go back to Google Earth. It has navigated accordingly. Go to File, Save, and save this file as G3. Click Yes. And as I have told you, come back to Smart GIS. Right click on G3 and click on reload layer now your third image is also colored rectified image now that you will be looking at is the bottom image so click on down your latitude longitude changed accordingly click on import rectified image keep the default values as g4 press ok and your fourth image will be displayed here now your fourth image is black and white go back to google earth go to save let's save the file and replace g4 and click yes you want to replace it yes we want to replace it and go back to the file and right click over here and reload layer now we were these four images have been georeferenced and with the same resolution that you have set now these are four images and you can do mosaicing etc etc as usual in any software let us import these images into arcmap and see how does it work and a let me tell you if you want to download 100 images you can do it in the same way and you will find that the rectification is so accurate because it is a system done you will not find any problem whatsoever in your image it is absolutely properly rectified and as you have seen it it's quite an easy task as well as you can see this is the point of joining but absolutely no line whatsoever in this image so this image is accurate to the maximum now let us uh, zoom into the full extent and uh, see if you need it still higher resolution what you all need to do is zoom in the image to further extent and carry out the same process if you want it for very large area go on doing up down up down so that you cover entire area of your interest once you have done that once you have this image you have a lot of option to do the work like in any other software but ha definitely has some limitations because it's a free gis software let's go back to arc map and load these four files that we have just 
georeferenced using this tool. Let's go there and add these four images to our screen. G1, G2, G3, G4 and add them to your screen. And click OK. Your all four images has been added to this and you can see here that it is a rectified map and you can do any GIS process that you are looking at. And before doing anything, I would advise you to carry out mosaicing of these images or any number of images, say it might be 100, mosaicing of all the images before you carry out any process. But as I have told you, yes, this uh, has certain disadvantages. Uh, let me just uh, briefly explain what are those disadvantages. Say, for example, you are covering a larger area and uh, you want high resolution data, you will uh, may have to do the same procedure, say maybe 100 times or more than that. That is point number one. Point number two is that your uh, any text that is on the image would come somewhere in between like this because you are rectifying one above the other. So this is the second disadvantage. And the third disadvantage is that in uh, Google Earth, if you go, you have an option to select the maximum resolution so that even you are, if you are zoomed out more than this level, your final imagery can be far better than what you can see in the screen. Otherwise, you can see here that current is 1116 by 632, whereas what you will be saving is 4800 into 2718. So it is a very high resolution imagery that you will be saving, whereas in the process what I have explained to you now, in that case, you will not be able to do that because it can take only the current level and current level is little low resolution. To cater that low resolution problem, you will have to zoom it to very high resolution level. Then only you can do the process. Once you zoom into very high resolution level, you will have to do the process that, that many times more. So these are the primary disadvantages with this. So if you are having a shortage of time, you can follow the other tutorials where I have explained you the image with the maximum resolution and carry out the process where you will have some problems in georeferencing. There might be certain errors. The accuracy may not be very high. And if you have time, you can carry out the process that is explained now using smart GIS software which is very high accurate but it might take some additional time and the other problems of having these text on the image should also be considered that's all about the simplest way of uh, downloading georeferenced high resolution imagery thanks for watching